Hey guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We are going to look at your day ahead for Sunday, January 7th. See what's going on around you guys, what you need to know for your highest good. So remember that the energy can be reversed, so flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. I'm also posting a feelings reading for you guys this morning. So make sure you check oh, check that out. Alright, Aries for Sunday. First card out is the Magician, crossed by the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. You are manifesting here. We're going to try to figure out what you're manifesting, but when the Eight of Swords is crossing it, that's worry. That's anxiety, and that just holds things back. That's, that can be like, um, like tricks our mind kind of plays on us, telling, that, telling us blah, that we can't do something. But you have the wheel here, so it kind of feels like... Oh, you got the magician, the high priestess, and the devil. Okay, interesting. You're manifesting here. Somebody's keeping it to themselves. The devil is there. So sometimes that can be even like a self-sabotage energy because this eight of swords is here. The four of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So you may be making a decision, but it may mean um, kind of releasing something with the four of pentacles there. That is about, or like even if it's money, because it is a decision here or something that, you know, it looks like you're leaning towards, trying to go towards, but worried around. You got the wheel, the six of pentacles, and the knight of wands. Okay. <clears throat> A couple ways this is this is going um for some you could have like a player returning or somebody that like you already know but it could be a toxic situation um so be mindful of what you're holding on to or situations that kind of like keep you in limbo uh, making sure that they have that equal give and take vibe because around relationships you may have kind of an impulsive energy but more of a non-committal divided time and attention energy around um career and finances it really feels like there's been like um a, a decision that somebody has been trying to make and it does feel like something here in that case um a decision is made pretty quickly to go ahead with something on a financial level and with the six of pentacles there it does look like it um it balances itself out around a person though you may have kind of a, a player or a non-committal energy. The fact that you have the high priestess and the devil, the knight of wands, all of these together, just uh, be mindful about that because there could be some type of cycle uh, energy, a toxic cycle energy. All right, Aries, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.